Do you want to become the shortcut master for LumaFusion? If so, stay tuned. Hey, welcome to another video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, in the previous video, we showed you how to use mark in and mark out shortcuts to get some clips onto your timeline. But now your clips are on the timeline, let's show you a few more shortcuts you can use to actually edit your clips and get a real nice edit together inside of LumaFusion. So let's jump into it. So now your clips are on the timeline, you'll want to start editing, fine trimming and coloring. So to get into edit mode, have your clip selected and press the key in the top left of your keyboard. This is the one to the left of the number one key. This will bring you into edit mode where you can add keyframes, change speed and do some color correction. However, some quicker ways to get through these menus individually is to use the number keys. So for example, number one will get you to the frame and fit window. This is where you can edit the position, size, cropping and opacity. Pressing number two brings you into the speed and reverse window where you can edit the speed of your clips. Pressing number three will get you onto your title screen whenever you want. However, first you have to add an overlay title onto your timeline. The shortcut for this is the Y key for the overlay title or the U key for a mains title. Then when you press the number three key, this will bring you into this menu. Pressing number four will bring you into the audio menu. Here you can edit your audio, the volume and add things like filters and ducking. Finally, pressing number five will take you into the color and effects window. And this is where I seem to spend most of my time. Now for some extra handy ones. To cut a clip in half, hold down the command key and then press B. To cut the clip completely, hold down the command key and press X. You can also use the delete key. To duplicate a clip, press command and D. And a shortcut that is gonna save you a ton of time and I promise you'll use daily is the undo and redo. So to undo, press command Z or Z and to redo, press command, shift and Z. Now, if you need to record a voiceover into LumaFusion, all you need to do is press the V key and then hit the record button. Now, just a quick note, this will record your voice through the inbuilt microphone of your iPad. However, if you have a USB microphone connected, you can also record through that to get some really nice crispy vocals. To detach the audio from your clips, hold down the Alt key and press D. And now the audio becomes separate. So there we go. I hope those simple shortcuts have really helped you. And as I say, they are still some of the beginner ones, but in the next video, we're gonna be taking you through some of the advanced keyboard shortcuts in LumaFusion. So make sure to stick around if you wanna see those. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.